Hey, good morning, boomers. Saturday, May 1st. I can't believe it. It's about 7.30, 7.40. I finally got this uh, old, somewhat out of shape body out to the woods. Uh, let me turn around and show you what my setup looks like. All right, so that's going to be my blind for today. My chosen weapon for this hunt's going to be shotgun. I get one or two birds, I'll go back to the crossbow. I got my Tacticam 5.0 mounted on the on the shotgun. I'll be shooting, uh, I think, number five copper-plated shells. Now, of course, I forgot my seat. I could just sit on that little pad for now, but I'm going to, uh, my car is parked right over there, and uh, I think it would be great exercise. Where the heck is it? It's just over the top of the creek. Now, let me, uh, let me show you my setup. It's about 25 yards away, and I'm using three decoys. Uh, this worked for me here last time pretty smoothly. Uh, I did leave the rope at home. There's a rope that I can use. On that decoy on the left, you can actually pull and make his head bob. I kind of like that. Uh, so next time I'll bring a line. Uh, the wind is absolutely wrong for deer hunting. One deer already came by and winded me, but we're not deer hunting, we're turkey hunting. So. All right, so there's my third decoy. Uh, the little one to the right is quite realistic. Uh, that's the one they'll probably attack. Looks like a young Jake. That is an inflatable. It's nice because you can blow it up on sight and then you can take it, uh, take the air out of it and packs a lot easier. All right, so I'm gonna walk back now, put the camera down, walk back and get my chair because I really want to be comfortable. All right, we'll see you in about 10. I guess it would help if I didn't step on the uh, I didn't step on the box call. I've already messed up the push button call. I can't get that to work. But uh, we're finally set up. We're comfortable in our chair. We got our camouflage on. And to keep down on the movement, I brought a few other calls too. A few other slate calls and things like that. Um, to keep down on the movement, I'll probably try a mouth call. I'm not too good at that, uh, on my own admission. But uh, let's see, I've got a couple around my neck here in this little pouch. As I showed you before, the decoys are out there about 25 yards. And uh, I don't know the difference between some of these calls, to be perfectly honest with you. I got a whole slew of new ones in the bag I picked up at the Great American Outdoor Show, but they're typically little calls, right? <laughs> well, that's better than nothing if I have to get them in the last couple feet. Okay, that's all for now. I'm going to shut this off. I said I was going to shut this off, but I just want to uh, tell you that we are settled in here. I'm looking at my watch, my watch is 8.30, it is running, so Connecticut did change the rule from sunrise to noon. They changed it to sunrise to sunset, so we really have all day. There's no real reason to give it up. Uh, we're going to try this uh, call that we got when we were in Georgia last year. You know. Uh, surprisingly forget this the mad hatter mad hatter calls let's see how this works Not so bad although i think i need to sand the surface a little bit Clear. I'm not going to win any national championships. All right, let's get back to focusing on these decoys, see exactly where they are, and uh, pay attention. Let's hope. Let's hope a couple birds come in. I'm going to let this. I'm just going to let this really video roll here. That deer pretty much had busted me, but he was curious enough to hang around. I think he's on one side of this tree. 
I'm not too far from them. I'll show you where my decoys are. There's the deer now. Well, there's five of them over there, and um, any one of them would have been the easy crossbow shot. 
The one's about 25 yards away. There is a big guy way in the back. And I suspect he's the buck. They're starting to shed their gray winter coat. This one in front here is uh, pretty much all brown. I think this big guy over here could be a buck. You know, I'm moving a little bit, but I'm moving cautiously, and they're just, they're just quite not sure who I am or what I'm up to. And they want to come in closer and closer, so I'm going to zoom out. Just so you can see all five of them together. Let's see how they behave. Eventually they're going to get tired and they're going to leave. There's one more all by himself. Well, that was pretty exciting. Five or six deer, and they must have stayed there for 10 or 15 minutes. I kept using the call, and I kept sitting down and moving very, very subtly with all this camouflage. They just weren't sure who I was, even though I'm in direct sunlight. The wind has been blowing in the right direction for a change, the way these deer came in. But uh, they finally felt uncomfortable and then decided to leave. Uh, we're gonna shut this off and uh, See if we can't get a turkey to come. So it's about 10 o'clock, maybe 10, 15, and uh, the wind really has not subsided yet today. It's still around 30, 35 degrees. I think that can tend to make turkeys a little jittery. Um, the deer that we saw, we got great video footage of the deer. They hung around, five of them hung around for a good 10, 15 minutes, curiosity. I think sometimes the decoys, having the decoys set out there, uh, it really kind of puts them at ease, except, as I said earlier, they wonder why they're not moving at all. And I have a third one off to the left. And um, next ne next time I come out, I'm going to bring a little line. And uh, I'm just going to be sure to pull ahead a little bit if the turkey comes in close. But today the problem is I have yet to see a turkey anywhere. If you want to while, I'll stand out and look at the big field behind the house. And that's usually where they come, or they come up the trail we walked on. Either way, I have not heard a gobble, I have not seen a turkey, and I'm hoping this wind subsides. It's supposed to subside early afternoon, and if it doesn't, we'll probably pack it in early around two, come back another day. All right. 11.30, and um, 
I still have not seen a thing. Uh, I went ahead and cleared the old stump that was in the way. It was blocking my view. There, I've heard all kinds of birds chirping and singing, but no turkey whatsoever. And other than the deer we saw this morning, it's been pretty quiet, and it's also been quite windy. I have a feeling, I said this earlier, but I have a feeling this high winds make these birds skittish. Um, so I'll leave the camera set just like that. That's my ladder stand I've hunted with in previous years. This has been a real good field. It's about 3 o'clock right now, and uh, it's still windy. It has warmed up. It's probably somewhere between 62 and 65 degrees. I'm going to take a little bit of a walk, see if I can find any turkey sign anywhere around, but uh, not have seen not one turkey. Those uh, six deer, I flushed them again a while ago, taking a little walk around. They were back in the pines next, uh, right next to the guy's house. I'll be right back. Try moving that little uh, one decoy around and see if it makes any difference whatsoever. I don't know that it is. The grass appears a little bit, a little bit too high where I positioned him, so I have a hard time seeing him. This guy is really very realistic looking, and I'm surprised they haven't attracted anything. I've done a variety of different type of calling. I'll show you before I pack up and leave the different type of calls I've been using. 